Hey, how's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. So today I want to bring you a, a recall that's really important. It has nothing to do with Honda or Acura. Um, but I feel like you guys need to know if you haven't heard about it. It came out five days ago. Um, I thought it was pretty interesting. So what it has to do with, it has to do with um, rear anchors. If you don't know what that is, that is, um, they're the little anchor points in the back seat where you would attach a child's um, safety seat. Let me go ahead and show you on this car. So I'm not using them. I haven't used any in this car. Um, they usually have marks to tell you where they are, like this one, the little buttons show you where the anchors are. And it's pretty neat. Like in this car, you just pull on this uh, material, on the leather here, and it actually unvelcros to expose the anchors. And each side has that. Like I said, I've never actually used them in this car, but let me go ahead and I'll pull this down here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So once you pull this, and like I said, every car is different, so you have to check. They usually are labeled in some way, but there's the anchors right there. They're just little bars, and a child seat has the, the buckle that'll go around this and it'll lock onto that. And then there's a release that releases it, just kind of like a seat belt type of thing. Um, but General Motors has announced a big recall and it affects 668,000 vehicles due to these anchor points right here. Um, it affects um, 2020 to 2023. So we're talking new vehicles here. Um, Chevrolet Equinox and the GMC Terrain. And if you don't know, the Equinox and Train are based on the same platform. Um, just one's a Chevrolet and one's a GMC um, vehicle. But what happened was that they found out um, was that the, when you put the child seat on to latch it on there, it might not install properly. And they said um, the cause of this is that those lower anchor points, the ones I showed you that are on the back there, um, might have been powder coated, coated too much. So when they powder coated them, um, so they're not raw metal, they put too thick of a coating on those. And so when you go attach the child seat to it, you might think it latches on there, but if you tug or hopefully not, never in an accident, but if you are, um, that could just slide right off because it has to, has a little latch that clicks on there. And then the only way to take it off, you push a button and it undoes the latch. Um, so that's interesting. And that's a lot of vehicles. So I, if you guys, I know a lot of us have different makes and models of cars and a lot of us have SUVs too. Um, so I wanted to put that out there. Like I said, it just came out. Um, so what they're doing, they're saying until a fix can be made, um, GM is asking owners to install child seats using the seat belt. So you know there's always options. Um, you can just put the seat belt through the base. Um, and if you're using like the, the bigger car seat, there's a little spot in the back where the seat actual seat belt can go through and just click on like a normal like the normal seat belt does. So you're not using the anchors. They're asking you to use that method instead until they can get a repair done. And they said dealers will inspect the anchor bars and see if um, the finish needs to be replaced. So I'm assuming the easy fix would be to grind that finish off and maybe leave it exposed or whatever, but I'm sure it's not a huge thing to fix it. Um, but owners of impacted vehicles, they'll start getting letters in the mail starting June 26th. So that's about a month from now. So I wanted to get that out there as fast as possible. So if you do have that, just use a seatbelt instead. Don't risk it and wait another month till you get the actual other letter. You, know, I mean, you never know. And then that way you can be proactive about it and take the um, necessary step to assure that everybody's safe in your vehicle. Um, so again, I just want to let you know, let me know in the comment section if you guys have one of these. So it's a 2020 to 2023 Chevrolet Equinox and GMC Terrain. And like I said, it's over a half a million vehicles, so it's a lot, um, but seems like it'd be an easy fix. You know, take some of that coating off and you'd be good to go. So again, I just wanted to keep you guys safe out there and informed of this information that as it comes available. I appreciate it. Hope everyone's having a good day out there. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks again, everybody.